Imagine, there's a phrase that if you utter, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about you in a way that befits His Majesty from above the seven heavens. Assalamu alaikum. I'm your brother Abu Abdis Salam speaking to you from the blessed city of Mecca. That's Mecca al Mukarramah. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam one day said to his companions, Shall I not teach you a statement which lies beneath the throne, meaning the throne of Allah, and is one of the treasures of paradise? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam continued, Say, La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. And then Allah says, My slave has submitted and surrendered himself. This hadith was reported by Al Hakim and authenticated by Al Albani. Subhanallah, think of the profoundness of this, my brothers and sisters in Islam. A simple phrase that you probably say every single day, more than once. Yet Allah Himself speaks about you when you say it from above the seven heavens. You might be asking, why is this phrase so special? How can a few words that we say on a daily basis without even thinking of please Allah so much that He mentions you? Why is this phrase considered one of the treasures of paradise which lies beneath the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? To understand this, let's break down this profound statement. La hawla means there is no power to change or move from one state to another, any state to any other state, which means you and I cannot change anything. Whether that's physical or spiritual, we cannot make any change. La hawla, that's what it means. Wala quwwata. And this means there is no strength and no ability over anything, which means you and I have zero power to do anything. And then, illa billah, except from Allah. So la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah means there is no power or ability for us to change anything or do anything except with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We cannot get a job or make money or pass our exams or pay off our debts or get that promotion or fix any problem in our lives without Allah. Now most of us look for solutions to our problems everywhere else and we forget to turn to the one who has all of our affairs in his hands. We go to this person and that person and then this person and then that person and everywhere else. And then finally, we remember to raise our hands and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The phrase la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah implies both praise of Allah and submitting our affairs to Him. You're recognizing that there is no power to do anything and change anything except by Allah's will and thus you submit to him. This is why it's one of the most beloved things that a Muslim can say to his Lord. When we say this, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah, we affirm that we have no ability to change whatever we dislike in our lives except by the will and aid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so we would trust Allah to improve all of our affairs. The great scholar of Islam Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah, may Allah have mercy on him, said that this phrase has an astonishing effect in providing strength to go through hardships and navigate through difficulties with ease and reliance on Allah. At times of hardship, when you haven't got a clue what to do, when you are tested with trials and tribulations and it feels like you almost can't handle it, say this one phrase with full faith conviction and mindfulness and feel a wave of tranquility from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala envelop you, reminding you of our inherent weakness as human beings and boundless strength and support that comes exclusively from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you say la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah, what you're actually saying is that you are absolutely nothing without Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that you rely upon Him in all of your affairs. This phrase, also known as the Hawqala in Arabic, is not just a phrase, it is an acknowledgement of our weakness and our neediness for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we are tested with trials and tribulation, when we feel overburdened with responsibilities and overwhelmed with stress, saying the Hawqala, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah, becomes a shield 
and a reminder that all our affairs are in the hands of the Most Merciful. Let's embrace it not only as a part of our daily lives, but as an eternal truth illuminating our paths with the light of reliance upon Allah. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, let's strive to include la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah in our daily adhkar or remembrance of Allah. Let's ensure that we live our lives in accordance with this powerful truth. And let's remember that this statement is a gateway to receiving support from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all our affairs. If you benefited from this video, please share it with your loved ones so that you may be rewarded and they may also be mentioned by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when they say la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. May Allah strengthen our hearts and make steadfast our souls upon his deed. Once again, I'm your brother Abu Abdus Salam speaking to you from the blessed city of Mecca. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.